What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Boy Fresh, aka the freshest nerd in these streets. And guys, I'm having a good time. I'm hyped because we're going to be talking about something I love. And it's, I kind of tried to make a series about it like a few months ago when I did a collab with my homie Nick when we did top 10 underrated Naruto badass characters. And if you haven't seen the video, it should be playing a little bit of it here, but the link will be in the description box down below. And I wanted to take that and my love of anime and talk to you guys about it. And this time do my top five favorite anime characters at the moment. Now, I don't want to say all time because that could change at any moment, you know, like, it could be like Goku one minute and then it could be Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, you know? But at the moment, I wanna give you my top five characters. I love anime, as you can see through my various anime t-shirts and my intros. I love talking about this. And I just wanna talk to you guys about this and give you my list and hopefully be excited to hear your list, like who's your top five favorite characters so you guys can leave that down below and we can have a discussion about this. At the end of the day, that's all I really want. But guys, if you enjoy my list and whatnot, make sure to hit the like button, click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications, as well as follow me on Instagram. But with all that being said, guys, let's get on into it because I'm hyped to talk about my top five. Here we go. Starting off with number five, I gotta go with the man who honestly always amazes me on Attack on Titan. He's a true boss, does not let any of his disadvantages like being four foot two matter to no one, whether you're a huge ass Titan or a criminal, Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan is coming for you. He's gonna body you. He, bro, it's. His personality as well as his skills is what makes me like really like this character because the word that could describe him is just badass. This dude comes in, former criminal to now captain of a group and just, you know, of the scouts and just goes out there and makes killing Titans look so easy. Let uh, like now informing you that Titans are like feared by these people because if you're not trained, you're probably gonna die. Bro, like for a whole group, you just need Levi because Levi's gonna run through all of them. Especially one of the big bad dudes, the Beast Titan, who, who already knew to look out for Levi and even had prep time about it, still got bodied by him. The dude Levi ran in there, just slicing and dicing, and it was a wrap. And you know what? That was probably my favorite moment of season three, besides him and the Kenny Ackerman fights. Bro, like, Captain Levi is just that dope. And if you don't watch Attack on Titan, you should because I feel like you'll fall in love with the character. He's just so dope. I like him way more than the main character. Like, get Eren out of here. Give me a show about Captain Levi. I'm with it. Now, the only difference that, a uh, reason why I don't have Captain Levi uh, higher is because he's there hasn't been enough of him yet. And it's... It's funny to say that because my number four character is someone who hasn't been around long uh, or he wasn't in the show and anime long but he made an impact on me and that my number four pick is Grim Jow Jagger Jax from Bleach the number six Espada of Aizen's group bro Grim Jow was such a dope character from look to personality my man gave no fucks whatsoever was always down to shoot the hands catch some bodies and a word that could describe him was just destruction this dude, Grim Jow, was very interesting because not only was he a smart ass, and he just wanted to shoot dance. He wanted to fight Ichigo. He went to the world, fought Ichigo multiple times, bodied Ichigo like it was nothing to him. And that's what made him so exciting. Even after like something drastic happens to him, he sucks it up, goes back out there, and still fought Ichigo again, and got jumped, and still made it out that situation like, you know, like Grimjaw was no no slouch, total badass himself, and it didn't matter what you know who was who came at him. He was always down to fight, and I loved it. 
the only reason, and, and I know he hasn't been in the anime long, and the only reason why I picked him over another character that I was going to originally pick, and that was Kenpachi Izaraki. I love Kenpachi, and as you can see, I have a thing for anime characters who are badasses, always down to fight, and don't care what happens, is that Kenpachi's dope, but doesn't say a lot. This dude said a lot and backed it up, even to when he last appeared on the show. It was just, he was so dope and I wish we got more of him. Now, my number three character is, is easy. Easy choice, bro, because honestly, he's, he's so dope. And that is Kilua Zoldik from Hunter x Hunter. Bro, you cannot tell me Killua is not a dope character. Dude is a, an assassin from a family of assassins, trained, just having fun, trying to become a, hero, a hunter, be friends, gone, the main character, and then they just grow and you know go through all these challenges like Hisoka, the um, the Phantom Troop, you know, and everything, and it's just so dope. Cause this dude is like 12 years old, you know, just running, walking through, slicing people's hearts, you know, and everything. Like he's so dope. And then when he went Godspeed mode in like the Chimera Ant arc, bro. Yo, Kilua is no, yo, Kilua is so much fun, funny character, awesome abilities. You know, I love uh, characters with like lightning abilities like Kakashi and whatnot. And I think Kilua does a fantastic job. And he was definitely one of my mains in Jump Force. Just having him do lightning palm and Godspeed mode. Dude is so, like, he's just so dope of a character. And I feel like if we ever get lucky to have. Hunter Hunter continue, I would love to see him and Gon grow up and like, you know, fully mature his powers. Um, that's the only thing that unfortunately we didn't get with them is because like they just stopped the show like they did with Bleach. But oh well, there's always hope as well as reading the manga. But that manga is too lengthy. It's, it's crazy. But besides that, Kilo is a dope character and that's my number three. Now going to number two, I feel like if I didn't have a character from Dragon Ball Z, I'd be doing this service to myself. And it was originally going to be Prince Vegeta. But there was one character when I was growing up that really got me hooked onto Dragon Ball Z. You know, a show that's just so crazy and iconic in itself. And that has to be Future Trunks. Um, boy, seeing Future Trunks for the first time, when he came down after the Frieza saga and interacts and bodies Metal Frieza and King Cold was the coolest thing to me. The dude came in with a sword, ah, sh da -da 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 -da, beat it! Like, yo, bro, body Frieza, a character who was just in a four hour long fight with Goku. And Goku had to go Super Saiyan. Nah, Trunks came in here, Super Saiyan was ready to throw them hands, sliced them up. Deuces, my man. Came in and was like, where's Goku? You know, like, as well as his arc with the Cell Saga and the androids was so cool. I love Android 17. Cell was such a dope character. One, probably my favorite villain from Z. As well as even in Dragon Ball Super when he comes back for the, the Goku Black arc. And I love that arc. Also, I'm a fan of Goku Black while some people hate him. But, you know, overall, I think Future Trunks is such a dope character. Like, Aesthetics wise, the dopest outfit, carrying a sword, but being the son of Vegeta also. But at the end of it, I feel like Trunks became what Gohan was supposed to. Because I really loved Gohan when he was a teen, you know, in Super Saiyan 2. And I was like, damn, Gohan's going to be the dude. Like, Goku's never been my favorite character on that show. You know, it's always been more of a, I've been more of a Vegeta fan. But... Trunks came in and became like Gohan, you know, like to say the third strongest saying in that group till he's, Gohan started training again. But I feel like Go uh, Trunks is what helped me get into Dragon Ball Z. And if I never really got into Dragon Ball Z and Yu Yu Hakusho, I feel like I never would be into anime as I am today. So I gotta thank, you know, Trunks for that. But now with my number one pick, and if you guys know me, for those of you who know me, already know who my number one is. It literally is my phone case, and that is Itachi Uchiha. Bro, I love Itachi. Like, 
same thing with Dragon Ball Z. Like back in the day when Naruto was first airing, like original Naruto, uh, and I found out about Itachi, I was like, yo, this dude is crazy. Cause like I love Kakashi. And then he got bodied by Itachi with ease, like Sukuyomi rap. Rap tortured my man Kakashi. Do was so proficient and Genjutsu didn't need to throw the hands with you. Could just point the finger and put you under hypnosis, and that was it. As well as you know, like uh, fire style, fire style jutsus and everything. Like just being an Uchiha, he was so dope. A member of the Akatsuki, like someone who was deemed a traitor, but was you know actually helping his village to protect his village as long as they were like, hey, don't touch my brother and we ain't got no problems. You know, I really respect Itachi for that. Such a dope character and, and he helped me get into to Naruto as well as, you know, having Kakashi and Rock Lee early stages. But Itachi Uchiha is my favorite character, my favorite anime character of all time. It's been like that for some years. Whether you hate Itachi and think I'm a bandwagoner, it's like, I don't think he could be everyone. I'm not gonna say that he could Sukuyomi everyone. There are characters that I can see him losing to, like Definitely Madara and Shisui. You know, well maybe not Definitely Shisui. It could be a fair fight, but I love Itachi. I, I I respect his arc and what he was there for. And it's just unfortunate that we couldn't see him really uh, mature because he had to die due to him being blind and having some disease that was killing him. It'd be nice to see my man with a full-on Susano, you know, fighting Mother with Sasuke. That'd be woof. But at the end of it, I think Itachi is such a dope character. And that's my list of characters, guys. I really tried to narrow it down as best as I could, but it's hard to do when you have all these amazing characters that you love. It's kind of hard to just rush all the details of why you love them. Hopefully you guys can understand and agree with me on my choices. If you did, make sure to, you know, leave your comments down below on who's your list. I was literally pointing at the ground to let you know. Comment down there and let me know who your list is. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to bomb the like button, click the subscribe button, turn on post notifications to be notified anytime I make a video. And guys, if this does well, guess at least five likes, I'll probably do my top five favorite anime villains or anime fights. But so guys, you know, show some love. Help me get those five likes so I can give you more, more uh, give you guys more content. But with all that being said, I'm the freshest dude on YouTube. I'm getting out of here because it's hot as hell in California. It's like 99 right now. I'm about to turn on this AC. So I'm out. Peace.